In our last segment, we learned about some of the benefits of seamless steel siding, including the obvious desire for the look of wood, but without all the maintenance. We also took a closer look at the preparation process for new siding and saw what was being installed to prevent moisture problems and increase energy efficiency. So let's once again meet up with our siding contractor, Andy Lindis, to see how steel siding is professionally installed. Oh, Andy, the guys are making some great progress. I really like the siding they selected for this home. You know, it's my personal favorite. This is our double five inch Dutch lap panel here. The difference between Dutch lap and regular lap as it gets towards the top here, just curves in, gives it that extra shadow line. It's really my personal favorite style of siding. Now, along the different styles of siding, there's mm -hmm. just numerous styles. There's lots of different types out there. How can the homeowner have the peace of mind that they're making the right selection for their home? Well, with Linus Instruction, when we first meet with the homeowner, what we actually do is take digital pictures of the house, put it on a computer, and we can show them what their house is going to look like with different styles of siding, the double five inch, double four inch, single 10, single eight. You know, if they want to do vertical along the bottom of the house, maybe the first five feet in vertical siding, and then go with the horizontal siding, or try shakes in the peak, even add a freeze board along the soffit and fascia that gives it that extra trim, all the options so they know exactly what they're getting before we even put one piece of siding on. Boy, that's got to be great peace of mind for the homeowner. I mean, there's no substitute for being able to see it at least on the computer and see a picture of their house with a different type of siding on it. You know, it really takes away a lot of the fear the homeowner has making a big purchase like this. They know exactly what they're getting before we start. Now on this house, again, we really like what they selected here, but the thing that jumps out at me is I don't see any seams. How do you make it this long? You know, our siding is just like our leaf guard and our roofing. We make everything right at the job site so it's custom fit to the home. So you're not worrying about a factory manufacturing it and making it work, or you're not coming out here and cutting and piecemealing together with extra seams where, you know, it's only going to leak. It's all made right here so it gives you that nice, clean look. In fact, Stu and Newton, the guys are out front making some siding right now. Why don't we go take a look at it? Well, here it is, Stu. Custom made siding. Goes right from the machine, right on the house. Wow, so these flat coil stocks there go through this machine and it turns into siding. Can you make different styles with this one machine? Yep, just a few adjustments on the rollers and you can go from a double five inch Dutch to a double four inch regular lap to a triple three inch regular lap to a vertical siding all in one machine. Boy, how does it get that texture on there? Because if it starts smooth, I mean, this feels like a wood grain. You know, we talked about those corner posts, that texture going on there. That's actually the first roller the coil goes through. So we backed out all the other rollers on that, those corner posts and actually brought the flat coil stock just to get that texture and then brought it over to a different machine to make those corner posts. So, And you can actually choose, if you want, to make it a flat siding too. Some people don't like the texture, they want a flat siding. We can do that as well. Now, how many different colors is it available in? There are 32 standard colors, and you can actually bring us a color chip that you really like. We'll send it to our factory that does our coil with the same Kynar, Kynar finish with the same warranty that our standard colors have, and we can have it custom painted just for whatever project you want. Pink, purple, yellow, green, whatever you want, we can get. Now, are there some other advantages to being able to fabricate on site? Most definitely, and that's lack of waste. You know, normal box siding comes out in 10 foot sections, so you get to an eight foot section, there's two feet of waste. This is all made right here, so it's custom fit to each wall, so you need it eight feet, three and a quarter inches, you make it eight feet, three and a quarter inches, and the biggest piece of waste you get is this little sliver that comes off when you run the guillotine. Boy, that is nice. Now, how do you cut this off? This lever here, the guillotine goes down, nice and slick, and you got a piece of siding. Well, I'm anxious to see how easily it's installed. What do you say we go around back, see what the guys are up to? Perfect. Well, you can see, Stu, we already started in the project, and just like any other type of siding, we start from the bottom and work our way up. And you know, earlier we were talking about the importance of the weather barrier, and that's already in place, and that's gonna assure that in the unlikely event any moisture gets behind the siding, it's not gonna reach to the wood members of the house. Well, you said it right there. In the unlikely event it gets behind our steel siding, we make every step possible so once it's back there, it works its way back out, never infiltrates the house. And it looks like the siding is just nailed in place, but not too tightly, I noticed. The terminology is nailed snug, not tight. What well, that does, along with our elongated holes here, where the nail goes in, 
allows the siding to expand and contract. If it's nailed too tightly, and anybody that's driven through a new development seen this before, they see that rippling siding, that's not because of bad siding, that's because of bad installation. They put it on there too tight, as soon as that siding expands and contracts, you get that ripple look. Okay, now it looks like it's diving into J channels. We got J channel running along all edges here. It gives it a nice finished look. Actually, you saw what Jeff was doing there, sliding it down, goes down over the top of the existing panel. And this type of siding actually has a locking lip. You push it up into place, locks it into place before you even nail it so you don't have to worry about it falling loose. Okay, so if I come up to this, yeah, you can, it actually is on there really tight. I was thinking it's going to be loose, but it isn't. It gives you that true seamless look. You know, it's every two pieces a new piece of siding, but you can't tell that unless you've been here before. Now, with this steel siding, is it available in different gauges? It is available in different gauges. What this is, the 26 gauge steel that we put here. That's the heaviest steel we can get for our siding. Our roofing will go all the way up to the 24 gauge. We can't get that exact panel for our siding. It's nearly not needed. But most siding, steel siding you're seeing put on, is 29 gauge. It's a lot thinner material. It's not going to hold up nearly as well as this would in a hailstorm. Seems to me it's important for the homeowner to be comparing apples to apples, not only in all the products that are out there, but also in the experience of the contractor and installation techniques. You know, most products are available to all contractors. So how you separate your contractors is not in the products they're offering, it's how they're putting them on. Sure. Well, there's no substitute for experience. We stress that and we've seen it time and time again. It's looking great so far with these guys that are installing it. How long until they're done? We actually have about a week left on the project and I'm confident when we're finished the homeowner is going to be completely satisfied. Stick around, we'll visit a metal roofing job and learn why it was selected for this green build home next.